Today we're doing a bit of tempo mapping in Reaper. Now, quite often uh, when you record a live performance of a band or something and you want to add uh, anything afterwards, you quite often have to do a tempo map in your DAW. And this is very much the case with this one. Uh, this is a live recording of a live stream I did with one of my bands the other day, and I thought I'd use it as a demonstration. Now, there are a million ways to do tempo mapping in Reaper, and unfortunately, most of uh, the ways I've seen on uh, YouTube or forums or stuff like that are incredibly um, complicated. Very often you have to select a part, find the tempo, and split all over the place and uh, things like that. You don't really have to do all that uh, unnecessary uh, crap. Now fortunately I know the song very well, so I have a good idea at uh, what the tempo should be on it. And that's about 90 BPM, so I've uh, inserted that as a bass tempo. Now before we do anything, we need to go into the project settings, make sure the time bases here are both set to time. If the item time base is set to beats, it will time stretch anytime you insert a tempo marker. And we don't want that. And I'll set the grid to quarter note here. We can uh, play the intro to it with the metronome. You can hear it. It's uh, fairly in the ballpark. Fairly close, but uh, not quite there yet. Now, to make this work, we're going to have to set up a couple of custom actions. Let's go to the action list. And the first one we want is move closest grid line to play cursor. I've seen a couple of other people uh, use this one down here to mouse cursor. But I prefer to um, insert these um, tempo markers while I'm playing back the song and then go back and adjust them where I need it. This is something I'm used to from working in Samplitude for many years. So let's add a shortcut for that. You can use whatever uh, sh shortcut you want that's uh, available. And the next one we want is this uh, move closest tempo marker to mouse cursor. I think I'll just use the period or dot, or whatever you want to call it. And then we should be ready to go. Let's add one first at uh, where it starts. And once we're done, a click uh, should now follow the song uh, very nicely. Subscribe if you haven't already. Do ask a few questions if you have them. And I'll see you in the next video.